Usually when you think of elves, you think of the little dudes in Santa's workshop. From what I hear, their biggest gripe is they just don't get outside much. But what if the white bearded guy gave them a day off to go out in the sunshine for a little vitamin D therapy? And maybe, just maybe, they go for a bike ride. And maybe that bike in the sunshine is named after them. And maybe it has three wheels and pedals itself because Santa doesn't have time to teach them how to ride. Okay, no more maybes. Here's Adam Yamaguchi. The bicycle has been around since the 19th century and over a billion of them have been made. Since its invention, innovations to the bike have included multiple gears, recumbent seating, and lightweight carbon fiber frames. But bikes have always required human pedal power to push them forward. Now there's a covered tricycle that harnesses the sun's solar energy to charge onboard batteries that power a motor, giving the driver the option to pedal on their own, engage the motor, or use a combination of the two. I flew to Durham, North Carolina to visit Organic Transit and meet Rob Cotter, the man behind the bike that acts like a car, and it's called the ELF. ELF stands for Electric Light and Fun. Hi, Adam. Hi, Adam, welcome to Organic Transit. Thank you for having me. So this is the ELF car? Yes, this is the ELF car. Make them right here in Durham, North Carolina. They're very light and strong. It's solar powered and pedal powered. Would you consider this a bike or a car or a- Yes, this is legally a bicycle. Rob took me inside Organic Transit's production shop, where each ELF is custom built by hand. He showed me the innovations that make the ELF a truly unique vehicle. Here's the solar panels here, and they're on aluminum substrate. And so they're very, very rugged. And as you can see, they're a little bit flexible, and we bend a curve into them to go on the roof. The solar panel is 100 watts, and it can charge up the vehicle again in about seven or eight hours, depending on sunlight. But it, if you do plug it into your household current, it takes about two to three hours to get a full charge again. Okay. And a full charge in the battery will give you how much, of a, how much driving distance? For the basic battery pack, it's about uh, 18 miles without pedaling and about 30 miles width. And the extended pack will go about 45 miles without pedaling and about 100 miles width. The energy collected by the ELF's solar panels is transmitted to this proprietary brain box, which transforms the energy into electrical energy for the ELF's battery. The battery powers a motor, which can assist a bike pedaler any time they need a boost. Humans put out a lot of torque. Two people pedaling together is like a V6 turbo. Torque is the turning force that rotates an object around an axis. In this case, the wheels on the ELF. The combination of torque from a person and a motor can help the elf go pretty fast. Now, if I decide to pedal with some motor assist, how fast can I go? So if you are really in good shape, which I'm sure you are, you can get close to 30 miles an hour. Wow. Rob gave me a quick tutorial on how to safely operate the elf. He even made sure I knew where the horn was. Wow, that's loud. <laughs> and then I sped off to cruise around the streets of Durham. The vehicle has the feeling of driving a, a little golf cart. Once you start to pedal and engage the throttle, you can really see what this thing is capable of. Some ELF models can carry up to 550 pounds, making it a great way to run errands, burn calories, and be environmentally friendly all at the same time. Time to face the truth. An ELF isn't just for helping Santa anymore. 